had rented a cottage in Cheshire. And I, th I thought that nobody knew about it. So I was a bit surprised when I answered the door. You were estranged? Yeah. Um, we were engaged, but we split up. It was wrongdoings on, on both sides. Is that what she calls it? How did Aidan seem? Calm. Um, I thought he'd come to start a fight. <laughs> but he just... He just seemed really relaxed. Generous. Like he was... Like he was ready to let me go. Did his calmness alarm you? No. Makes me sound so stupid now, doesn't it? How couldn't I have known, but he... He just seemed like... Like he'd made sense of it all. All he wanted to do was dance. <laughs> so we danced. I think that, um... I think that he thought he was setting me free. Which only made me love him even more. He was supposed to be at Jenny and Johnny's leaving do, but I was the one that was stressing out of it. Phone was going every five minutes, my laptop was pinging. He was just really calm. Too calm. I realise that now. He told me that he loved me and I let him go. He was halfway back to Johnny and Jenny's party when I found my engagement ring. So I, I phoned him, but he didn't answer. So I left a message. I was ready to talk. I felt ready to admit how I felt about him. I went to bed that night thinking that we had a future. That I had my Aiden back. That night it was him. Um, magic I don't know um, I don't know if he if he ever played the message maybe he did maybe his mind was too messed up by then maybe he'd already wrote his note the time that I went looking for him to, to say that I was ready to try again he was already dead I replay that night over and over again I just I just keep thinking what if I'd said this Oh, what if I'd done that? He did he... Because... I was his last chance... to save him. And I blew it. The world was a better place with Aiden in it. He just, he just didn't know it. And I know that, I know that people think that I used him. I loved him so much. 